Pisces, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for November 28th through December 4th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Pisces, you're gonna jump here, jump in, there you go. There's my boy. All right. <clears throat> The overall energy for the reading, the lovers. So we could be talking about a connection you have with someone here. I do see that in the reading showing up. All right, in the recent past, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Two of Wands. Man, you were going for it here. There's definitely that sense of, okay, I'm going in and there's love in there. But it's one of those things where either you had to wait or uh, there's a little bit of waiting tied up to the situation almost like either you knew the person before but it was all of a sudden you started getting some feelings i don't know and then you just went for it i have no idea there's some waiting involved hmm. the energy is definitely going towards someone here with an open heart but after some waiting okay in the current situation the sun the four of wands the temperance card what's up with the waiting there's commitment there's happiness there's waiting not necessarily waiting but it could be that it's almost like a time capsule that this is in like it's 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 been this way forever. It was just a matter of connecting to this energy. It's kind of looking like that. Huh. In the immediate future, the tower, the nine of cups, the queen of swords. All right. Some, someone is trying to keep their calm. Um, something's happening here. Something shaky is happening and someone is really kind of gathering up all the tools they have to kind of stand still in front of whatever's happening so i don't know exactly what this is but let's let's clarify let's see what's up let me see the lovers <clears throat> the seven of cups the chariot the eight of swords There's something about timing in this reading. I can't quite catch it, what that is. Because, um, I mean, there's this connection that shows up. There's these good energies at play, but something surrounding the concept of time is swirling around this connection. I can't quite place it to see, it. is it creating a separation at some point? Is it creating... Because at this point, what you're showing me is this connection, and then you're showing me away from it, you know? but led by a whole lot of overthinking. So the more you overthink things, the more you detach from it, the further away you get from it. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Let me see the Queen of Cups in the recent past. Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. That's the thing. It's great energies at play. It's stability. It's let's build something based on this love. There's a whole lot of emotional stability. There's a whole lot of everything stability in it. Let me see that two of wands. Nine of Swords, Knight of Wands, the Death card. 
timing, timing, bad timing. You were all up in these energies while the other person, as much as they wanted to be there, they weren't there because something else was happening on the side for them or something like that. Something like that is coming through where the both of you want to share these energies, the both of you have the same goals. Th this connection is bringing the both of you to meet there halfway, but one of you is stuck in something else, almost like they got to take care of something else. They can't quite commit to this yet. But it's been happening for a while there. And it's a very painful process for them, you know, just to hold themselves back from this because the energies are strong and they're, again, they're bringing the two of you up there to the middle point. Um, <clears throat> let me do the sun in the current situation. <clears throat> King of Swords, Two of Wands, Six of Cups. Ultimately, it's about choosing happiness, especially on your side. Um, and that happiness could be brought in by another energy, one that's not necessarily ready at this time. Because as I said, intentions the same, goals the same, feelings, intensity the same on both sides. Timing. Timing is not the same. And it's like, you know, you wait and you wait and you wait what you're showing me here, but at some point you need to do what's best for you and what makes you happy. And it could be tied up to another situation that's not this one that you've been waiting for. Maybe that's why you're starting to drift here. Let me do the Four of Wands in the current situation. Four of Cups, Four of Wands, Six of Pentacles. I mean, you're, you're kind of giving me the sense that you're aware that something's kind of falling off scale here, that something's not quite equal give and take, because it's not. And not that whoever this is doesn't want to be, they don't have it right now, that energy to create that balance. They don't have it now available. Ooh, is this a question of bad timing? think it is. I mean, do the temperance card, but it's been going on for a while. You know? Because you're looking at this connection, commitment, whatever it is, and you're, you're kind of bummed out. You're like, yeah, it's, it's not falling into that organic way of equal give and take. You know? Let's do the temperance. The fool, the king of cups, the eight of pentacles. I see, I see great energies. That's the sucky part about this reading. Because I see great energies that, you know, are there, are supposed to be there together. But for some reason, they're not. Um, there's love. There's, you know, let's do this. You and me against the world. And in a practical way, those energies can be um, integrated there in your life, in their life. Um... And I feel like you've been going with these energies and you've been trying, you know, for, for quite a while. But it's not about that. <clears throat> it's not about that. It almost feels like there's nothing more you can do on your side. Except to start accepting that maybe it is bad timing. You know? Um, <clears throat> as to the tower... In the immediate future. Oof. The Ten of Swords, the Justice card, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this slam dunk kind of an energy comes in, you know, of an ending to this. But then it changes all of a sudden. So there's something shifting here, big time. There's, there's almost like a cord that's being cut and then it ties itself back together. It, it kind of looks like that a little bit. Um... <clears throat> It's creating some energies of loss, of all sorts of things that are unpleasant. But somehow it does bring some sort of balance to the situation too. So it almost feels like 
there's two options here. Because the situation is not balanced, because one is given and one not at this time, it could be that the one that's not giving is starting to give, and that's how balance is being created. Or the one that's giving is pulling away and not giving anymore. And that's another way that balance can be restored here, because I do see a sense of balance here. So it could be either or, you know? Uh, but something's happening here, definitely. Something's shifting in the energies. Let's do the Nine of Cups in the immediate future, the Six of Wands, the Judgment card, the Temperance card. Yeah. I mean, the one that's holding on to this energy of equal give and take and is trying, shooting for that, they still have this energy by their side. So, still doesn't really answer the 50-50 question because... It could be that, okay, I gained clarity, I know exactly what I want, and I can't find it here, so let me pull away. That could happen. At the same time, whoever you're dealing with can actually come towards you and give you that energy, and then it creates this equal give and take balance. Either or. You're still... Uh, but what I'm really loving about this is that some someone is sticking to their guns. Someone is like, no, this is this is what I want. This is what I want, you know, whatever happens. So I love this energy. Very transformative, very, very nice. Let me do the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> Someone is responding to their own needs. Rather than, oh, let me just wait. It's okay. You know. Uh, for the Queen of Swords in the immediate future, you get the Three of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Page of Swords. Painful process here, painful process to put yourself first, but someone is doing it here. And I kind of get the sense that it's you. Uh, it's not looking like, oh, okay, I know how to do that, so let me start doing that. It's looking like a slow process towards putting yourself first, towards starting to love yourself enough that you can see, okay, I need to do what's best for me here. And it's a painful one by the looks of it. And it carries a whole lot of determination too. So it's, it's almost like when you start this process, nothing is stopping you. You know, you don't get to change your mind anymore. Not with the Queen of Swords energy. It's like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to stick to it until, until I get there. So, <clears throat> I like how the reading ends in that sense. I have no idea what the hell is going on here within these energies. I just see that you are starting to head in the direction of gaining clarity and putting yourself first and seeing where that leads. Um, it's a little unpleasant here because it's very hard to do, especially when you're dealing with another situation like this, but, um, you're doing it even if it's hard. So let me see what the universe has for you as a final advice. <clears throat> the devil, the world card, the magician, you're ending quite the toxic cycle actually. Because maybe you have been waiting for who knows how long. Because as I said, I, I, I see this happening for quite a while. Where it's like, oh, I'll just wait until they're ready to meet me there. And then something is shifting completely here where you're like, you know what? I don't know if I'll wait or not, but that's not the point. I'm just going to start putting myself first and we'll see what happens from there. And that actually breaks this very toxic cycle, which to me means you didn't put yourself first for a very long time while you were waiting for this, you put yourself to the side, you know? Your needs didn't necessarily matter, now they're gonna start to, and that's gonna shift everything. And um, it's time, it's time for the cycle to end, and you're ending it, you're the creator of that ending, so. Cool, that's what I have for you, hope this helped, and I'll see you next time, bye.